Few residents may be using Hudson's now snow-covered playgrounds, but as the winter has dragged on, those very attractions have been at the forefront of the Hudson Recreation Department's work as they initiate comprehensive renovations on the countless aging structures across town. Their goal? Simply make the playground safe and compelling for the children and families of Hudson for years to come. Ultimately, you know, the lifespan of a playground, if you look or speak to a designer, <coughs> an installer, you're looking at anywhere from 20 to maybe 30 years. Many of the playgrounds located in town currently, um, at the schools and some of our town playgrounds, Riverside Park, Wood Park, are 20 plus years old. So they are nearing or have reached the um, end of their useful life. Much of the work so far stems from a study that the department recently commissioned to identify issues with existing playground infrastructure. That has meant that so far, for the most part, this work has involved removing structure elements to bring the parks to a safe baseline. Um, a lot of what we've done to date has been removing what has been uh, classified or prioritized as a significant hazard. We plan on going into the spring of 2018 to continue to remove some other items, um, but we hope to also install some playground equipment um, this coming spring as well. Specifically, solving these problems identified in that study has forced the department to focus on a lack of wood chip safety surfacing at some playgrounds, as well as problems with slides cracking or otherwise failing to tightly connect to structures at others. But we don't want gaps in there where um, a string on someone's hoodie could get caught in and potentially create an entanglement hazard. Uh, so those are the plastic materials or uh, areas that we always look towards. Finally, the department has had to focus also on repairing or removing decaying metal built into structures. These exposed corners of platforms have rusted so bad that there's actually shards of rust and metal that can be pulled apart. Um, and again, it's not safe, um, not advisable for people to use, and it's something that we uh, need to address right away. All in all, the department is excited about the future of the town's playgrounds. And though their work now may be taking elements away from the attractions, they hope that by the time they are done with this project, they will have made the playground safer and been able to add back to them in a way that will not only make them exciting for children, but lasting for the community. So it's kind of a combination. Yes, we want a large, new, improved, not necessarily flashy, but very usable, very um, community focused and centered playground in town. I think there's a lot of people in the community that want it and we internally want to see that as well. However, we need to continually make smaller updates to the playgrounds that remain in town um, so that they don't continue to fail um, and that we get as much life out of them as possible.